Okay, here's my sanding disc slash buffing setup on VFD. I have a bigger motor than is probably necessary. That's a horse and a half, uh, 3625, I think, RPM. Anyway, it's over 3600. Um, it's also a 220 volt three phase. I don't think it's necessary to have 220, but the three phase part is key because that's sort of how the VFD does its thing. Uh, you'll notice these switches I have over here. These are to change the speeds. Um, and so, let's see here. I'll turn it on at that's 3600. That is half of that. So roughly 1800. And that is half of that, so roughly 900. And I'm doing all that by just changing these switches. So 36, 18, 9. And then um, this uh, is forward and reverse. And I don't use it really. Um, but the uh, VFD I have automatically starts up in um, the opposite direction than I want it to. It starts up spinning clockwise. I want it to spin counterclockwise. So I program this switch to be reverse. And so I always leave it in reverse mode. So I don't really use this switch, but I needed it to uh, force it to turn the other way. So again, 3600 and then half speed and then quarter speed and then what that switch is doing is controlling this VFD up here so you can see uh, the frequency that's putting out a VFD controls by changing the frequency of the alternating current and so right now the frequency is 15 I don't know why it's 0.3 I thought it was at a 0, 0.0 but anyway if I there's full speed you can probably hear it now if I throw the switch in the middle, I just switched that one. It goes to 30 hertz. If I switch this one, it goes to 15. So those are the three speeds I use the most often. If I want to, I can. Oops, got to put it this way. If I want to, I can uh, come in here and do any frequency I want. You can hear it slowing down. But I don't, I don't really ever do that. I just um, change it by uh, using the switches because those are the speeds that I want and need. So now I need to put it back up to 60 because that was my... And this, this VFD will actually go up to 120 hertz. So... I've never used it that way. Um, theoretically though, you could use, say, a 1750 RPM motor, uh, crank up the frequency to 120 and spin it at uh, 3500. But I only use it going down. Uh, you can see my very ugly box there, that's 220. For some reason my electrician put in a big box like for a dryer plug or something, so now I can't find a faceplate that works for the type of plug that I needed. You can also see that uh, there's different kinds of wires coming out. Obviously, here's power. This one is just uh, going to the uh, these switches down here, and it's got eight wires in it. It reminds me most of the wire I see for my uh, sprinkler system, actually. It doesn't need much current. I think it's sending a 12-volt signal, so it's just a little bitty. There's eight wires in there. And then this heavy duty one is uh, going to the motor itself. So there you have it. Um, oh, and I use a Beal quick change arbor. So I can, uh, it just twists off. I'm holding the camera in one hand. I can't, um, I can't do it one handed, but I just spin them off and spin them back on. And it's real fast and easy. And all my buffing wheels, all my sanding discs have this bolt. And they just thread into here. It's real quick and easy to change. And I've got it mounted under the table, as you can see. And at an angle, 
and I just sit right here and actually work, shape a cigar, work on the edge of the wheel basically. So there you have it.